let collectively let collectively start the meditation with the collective heartfelt namaskar where we surrender collectively all our chakras sasara and all the chakras in the back to the lotus feet of the devi let's do it consciously and collectively faisons collectivement un namaskar en offrant notre sasra et tous nos chakras dans le dos au pied de notre mère Mascar Kundalini. Talk of the day. Heart chakra, the muladhara where Kundalini resides. Then about the Nabi chakra, from where it rises, the Swadhisthana chakra, which moves round and round and shares the Bhavasagara. I have also told you about the spirit, the flicker of light that exists in the heart, which is looked after by Shiva. The flicker of light, which is the Sakshi, which is the witness. It is like a flicker that you find in a gas light. Now the gas itself is not enlightened. The gas itself is the energy, but is not enlightened. The flicker is enlightened. When the ga gas passes over to the flicker, it also gets enlightened. That is what is Sahaj Yoga is, that is what is the Kundalini awakening, when it touches that flicker. But the flicker has got the seat on top of the head here, which is known as the seat of the Sadashiva. And this is the form or aspect of God, which is existence. God, Shiva, is existence. And this is the first form which emerges into all these forms, like the seed emerges into the whole tree and becomes a seed, and ultimately at the dissolution point also, it becomes Shiva. That's why it is known as Shiva, means a permanent form. It doesn't go into any uh, formation, it doesn't incarnate, it is a witness which watches. That's the aspect of God. So you have got three aspects of God, the first form, which is the Shiva, which is the existence. The second one, which is the creator, which is Brahmadeva. And the third one, which is Vishnu, which is the sustainer, which evolves, which, is, which gives evolutionary movement, which incarnates, which has incarnated ten times. Now, the chakra above that, you see in the center, which we call a sacred heart, is in the center. Is known as the cardiac center. You can say Ridhaya chakra. You all know what is Ridhaya, Ridhaya chakra. It's placed here, behind, in the modula, medulla oblongata, but outside also is a cardiac plexus. Now this center, the cardiac center, is governed by the deity Jagadamba, the mother of the universe. Parvati 
wife of Shiva, the power of Shiva, takes her place here to help the struggling evolutionary human beings who are trying to evolve themselves, to protect them from the satanic, from the demonic forces. She is known as Lalita. She is known by many names. They say she has been incarnated 108 times. She has been incarnated many a times. She has incarnated as a Amsha also, as a part of her, has also been incarnated. She is the essence of Raksha, is the protection. A person who suffers from insecurity gets this throbbing here, she gets this done. People who suffer from fear have this problem here. She gives us the protection, she is the protector. And she is the mother of this world, Jagadamba. On the right hand side of the heart exists, left hand side I have already told you, right hand side exists the symbol of Sri Ram and his power is Sita. Sri Ram is at an evolutionary stage, came as a leader on this earth, as an incarnation of Vishnu, eighth incarnation. And he tried to show the political leadership of a divine nature. He incarnated on this earth 12,000 years back. And at that time, in the whole awareness of human beings, the idea of a leader, as a political leader, was born. He is responsible for creating the political awakening within us 12,000 years back in the human awareness. His power was Sita, his wife, who was a very simple woman, but she was the form of Adi Shakti. We know she was. Because at that time the people were very sensitive, they could see that. These days people are not, they cannot make out a Ravana from Sita. See, that is what is the condition of our sensitive. This is the central force, is known as the force of Mahalakshmi. So the Lakshmi is born as Sita for the first time as a human being. On the left hand side force is known, left hand side force is known as the force of Mahakali. Vidyut, I wanted to meet you. What time are you leaving? Abhi then, Abhi khatam karne lecture. Can she come tomorrow? Tomorrow morning is the meditation. Oh God. Sure. I am also going to Kathmandu on the 16th evening. Will you be there? Alright, so you can give her the address. I will try to contact you. Alright? And God bless you. Hmm. So, <coughs> the left hand side power is known as Mahakali's power and the right hand side known as the Mahasaraswati's power. Now the central power is for evolution. The, sec the central power or you can say the central ascending column is meant for the evolution of man. So you are born, all of us, in the Bhava Sagara state. Now you have to ascend from one to another to another to another. The higher one than that is, as I told you, on the right hand side is that of Sri Rama and his power is Sita. The complete form of Vishnu came to human beings 6,000 years back as Shri Krishna. 
that is at this chakra known as the Shruti chakra. Shri Krishna is the complete form. Where, why we say the complete? Because for him, the whole play, the whole Leela was to be just seen. This whole creation was nothing but just a play created. He had reached that stage and he talked of it. He said, Nainam Chiranti Shastrani, Nainam Rahati Pavaka. You cannot be killed by any instrument or by any. And he did Samhara. His greatest quality was that he killed many demons on this earth. Now those who talk of non-violence will say how he was a violent man. There is a divine method which has to be employed to kill those demons that was needed. And he did kill. He was the incarnation of a diplomat. What is a diplomat? Diplomat is a person who is a Sakshi, who is a witness, who plays the divine diplomacy. He played the divine diplomacy and you are still in that diplomacy when you read Gita very much. I'll tell you in two sentences how to understand his diplomacy in Gita. Very necessary. He said in the very beginning, at the very outset, that you seek him within yourself. He told Arjuna, you seek him within yourself. You have to become a Sakshi. Arjuna being a mediocre, asked him a question, question that you are saying that you must seek him within yourself, you should become a sakshi, a witness, and here you are telling me to go on the war, to kill people, to kill my own brother, to kill my own relation. What he wanted to say that it's all a play, but it only becomes a play when you become that witness, when you are realized. That's what he told him, but Arjuna was a mediocre in this respect. So he being a father, he understood. Like a father who comes out of his hut and sees his son beating the cart. So he tells him, you bring the horse in front of the cart, then only the cart is going to move on. But the child, the son, doesn't want to listen to his father. He says, no, I'm going to beat the cart. So he plays the diplomacy, the father. The mother does not. The mother tells you the fact. So he played the diplomacy there, divine diplomacy. He says, all right, you go on beat. But keep your attention on the horse and you will go forward. That's an absurd, absurd thing. It cannot happen, you know. He told something absurd. So he says, all right, do your karmas. But put it at the feet of the Lord. You cannot do it. It cannot be done. It is something, an impossibility, because there is an ego in you. If you do any work and if you think, oh, I am putting everything at the feet of the Lord, you are just deceiving yourself. This is his diplomacy, he's paid with you. You cannot. Those who believe in such a thing should know that it's, it's a deception. It can only happen when you become a hollow personality. For these people now, those who are realized, you will see them say, it's going, it's coming. Then do not say that I am giving, I am doing. You have to become a hollow thing like this, which just stands and sees and it passes through it. The divine has to flow through you. And about bhakti, about the devotion, dedication is another diplomacy. You see his words. You see, nobody sees. I'm surprised. They have written 500 books on Gita. Nobody has seen this simple point that he has played a diplomacy with you because you do not know that you are not beyond ego yet. You have to go beyond it to be that. Is a very, very subtle happening. For this, God has placed all these chakras within us. So the outside does not matter so much, no doubt. But in a way it does. In the sense that when there is a deep a light, you have to have the earthen pot called right, you have to have the proper amount of oil in it, you have to have the wick properly put up, and then only you can enlighten. If these three things are not all right, then I cannot enlighten you. 
So these three things are also important. So your dharma has to be all right. Of course, I am not saying that if you are drinking you cannot get realization. You can. And you can also get the power to get over your habits in no time because once you get realized you get intoxicated by yourself, by your own powers. You can feel in your hand the power flowing like vibrations, cool vibrations. If you use them then you will know that you can cure people. Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Let's start this meditation by collectively gathering our attention above Sasara. Let it be that one being, one collective, powerful, global, cosmic attention, which radiates like one million of suns in one, and which is the divine attention of our mother. Mettons l'attention au-dessus du Sahasrara et essayons d'être complètement collectif afin que notre attention soit puissante et collective et qu'elle qu soit complètement fondue dans l'attention de notre mère. À partir de cette attention collective, nous allons dire quatre fois le mantra de Sri Ganesha. Let's say four times Sri Ganesh Mantra from this collective attention. Om Dwameva Sakshat Sri Ganesha Sakshat Sri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Tuhameva Taksha Shri Ganesha Taksha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namu Namaha Om Tuhameva Taksha Shri Ganesha Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namu Namaha Om Tuhameva Saksha Shri Ganesha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha From our heart, let's welcome the Lord Ganesh.
let's collectively surrender our meditation to the Lord Ganesh so that he can bring auspiciousness and vibrations and all his qualities. Promettons, confions notre meditation au Seigneur Ganesha afin qu'il puisse y établir l'auspiciosité, les vibrations et toutes ses qualités. Let's feel the beating of the left heart 
but also to our right hand on the left heart. Let's feel the love, the vibration, the spark, the complete presence of the Lord Shiva in our heart of the spirit. Let's feel with our right hand the vibrations of the spirit in our heart. Mettons la main droite sur le cœur. La main gauche est toujours vers la photo, bien ouverte. Et avec notre main droite, essayons de ressentir d'abord le battement du cœur, les vibrations de l'esprit, la présence de l'esprit dans notre cœur. Essayons de développer un niveau de sensibilité qui nous permette véritablement de nous connecter à l'esprit. And from our collective attention above Sahasvara, let's ask our mother, please, mother, come in my heart. Establish yourself fully in my heart. Et à partir de notre attention collective, demandons à mère, mère, s'il vous plaît, venez dans mon cœur, établissez-vous dans mon cœur. Let me make space in our heart so that our heart is so big that the complete form of Adi Shakti can establish herself in our heart. Faisons de l'espace dans notre cœur pour que notre mère sous sa forme primordiale puisse s'installer dans notre cœur. Shri Shiva Parvati Mantra. Om Tuami Vastakshat Shri Shiva Parvati Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Matachi Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Tuami Vastakshat Shri Shiva Parvati Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Let's put our right hand back, both hands opened, full attention in the heart, on the spirit, on the complete form of the spirit. Mettons les deux mains ouvertes et toute l'attention, l'attention collective est sur le cœur gauche, sur la forme complète de l'esprit qui est Shri Shiva.
Now to go even deeper, let's put the left hand over the shoulder in order to surrender ego, mind, reactions, and become Sakshi, become the witness. Mettons la main gauche au-dessus de l'épaule afin de pouvoir abandonner l'ego, les pensées et le mental et aller encore plus profondément dans la méditation en devenant témoin. Let's say Shri Mahasaraswati Hanuman Mantra. Om Tuameva Saksha Shri Mahasaraswati Hanumana Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namu Namaha Shri Buddha Om Tuameva Sakshat Shri Buddha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha. Let's ensure that we are the collective being. Collectively, our attention is at the Virat level. And it is the Virat himself, herself, who is putting the left hand over the shoulder. And we are all part and parcel of this Virat, this beautiful, enlightened cosmic being. Let the right side of the Virat be totally balanced. Our collective right side be completely balanced and structured. Complete surrender of ego, mind, and thoughts, reactions. Remettons collectivement notre côté droit en prenant conscience que nous sommes collectivement le Virata. L'ego, les pensées, le mental sont abandonnés.
Now both hands are on the lap and attention move from the left heart to the Brahmarandra, to Sadashiva in Brahmarandra. And again, Sadashiva is in his full form as we are the Virat, we are the collective being. Sri Sadashiva is at the very center of the Sasrara, of the divine Sasrara that was opened by our mother, which is the Sasrara of the cosmic being that we are collectively. Let's feel the glory of the Sasrara above our heads, floating with all the divine colors of the petals, all the divine vibrations, all the power, all the brilliance. And at the very center, Sri Sadashiva, him in, in his full complete form, is in meditation. Let completely surrender to him. full attention, full devotion, full love. Attention passe du cœur gauche au Sahasrara, où nous ressentons l'entièreté du Sahasrara cosmique, de l'aide cosmique que nous sommes du Virata. Ce Sahasrara que notre mère a ouvert en 70. Et au centre de ce Sahasrara se trouve Le Brahma Randra, la présence complète du Seigneur Sri Sadashiva, remettons-nous complètement à lui avec dévotion et amour. Mahamaya Mahesh 
Shiva, Shri Adi Kundalini Mata, so that the reflection of of the Holy the Holy Ghost, which is Shri Kundalini, can be united with the Holy Ghost, the primordial Holy Ghost, which is Shri Sada Shiva, above Sahasrara, Shri Adi Kundalini Mata. Oh. Dwame pa saksha Shri Adi Kundarini Mata saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mata Ji Shri Nirmala Devi Namu Namaha Om Dwame pa saksha Shri Adi Kundalini Mata Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mata Ji Shri Nirmala Devi Namu Namaha Complete surrender in Sasara to Shri Adi Shakti under a form of Shri Adi Kundalini and Shri Sadashiva. Both are now completely united in Sahasrara and all central channel is completely enlightened. All, all the chakras inside the Virat are enlightened and also the superior chakras are enlightened. All central channel is enlightened. Let's go into deep meditation by meditating on Shri. Kundalini above Sahasrara and Shri Sadashiva. Meditation sur Shri Kundalini au Sahasrara, au-dessus du Sahasrara et Shri Sadashiva. Tout le canal central est complètement illuminé par l'éveil de la Kundalini.
now to our collective meditation and attention at Shri Adi Kundalini and Shri Sadashiva who are the Holy Ghost and the reflection of the Holy Ghost completely enlighten the whole creation, the whole humanity. All humanity is completely drenched, illuminated by the flow of the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> by the flow of vibration coming, coming from our collective Sahasrara, pouring on all humanity, on all planet Earth, on the whole cosmos is filled with pure, pure vibrations. But we need to be very, very collective in our attention. We will do this for two minutes before finishing the meditation. Attention est collective dans le sens rare et nous laissons les vibrations de l'Esprit Saint, la Kundalini, illuminer toute l'humanité, illuminer tout le cosmos, toute la création.
collective namaskar and kundalini with the heart thanking our mother shri shakti our father shri sadashiva and our biggest brother the lord ganesh remercions dans notre cœur shri mataji sous sa forme de shri adi shakti notre père shri sadashiva et notre grand frère shri ganesh faisons namaskar kundalini Thank you.